It was this is hard pass, Kyle. Oh, yeah. This is hard pass. That's I'm going to give it up. Let's get to it. So, yeah. the MVP ladder so far yeah. has come out mm-hmm. already. <coughs> yeah. They got it as follows. Mm-hmm. Nikola Jokic, number one. Yeah. Jason Tatum, number two. Kevin Durant, number three. Shea Gillius Alexander, number four. Anthony Davis, number five. Yeah. Now, I will say Anthony Davis has been playing well. I still don't put him in the top. I probably wouldn't put him there either. Number four is Shea. Yeah. I yeah. put Shea up there. He's number one and number two. Yeah, a lot of people were saying Shea should, should, should have gotten it last year. No, he should have been. at Even if he didn't get it last year, he should have been the number one and number two in contention. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. He should have been in that spot where it was arguably yeah. for him. That's a fact. Guards, for the most part, they don't... Um, Especially if you a two guard, mm-hmm. they rarely. If you think about it, the last two guard that got it, that was probably Kobe, right? Oh, and that dude. was in like twenty ten. The fact that you said two guard threw it off because I was about to say Steph. Yeah, it, it, it it's typically the a dominating big man or a dominating point guard or a wing. Or a wing, yeah, but yeah, the uh, two guards rarely get it. So the fact that she is even up there, yeah. Shout outs to him, man. He's not going to get it. And I do think it's because he's a two guard. Um, I think that if they just move him to the, to the point but, guard. But I, what's the discrimination against the two guard? That's messed up, in my opinion. Cause, so, my personal opinion, right? Mm-hmm. The bigs, yeah. it's their job. They obviously going to score, yeah. rebound, mm-hmm. defend. Yeah. The point guards, they obviously going to score, mm-hmm. facil- f- f- facilitate. Mm-hmm. They control the offense. Yeah. Right? Let's say the three, mm-hmm. right? They can e- 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 either score and do perimeter defense, mm-hmm. or they can score a play post defense. Yeah. So it's like the two guard is just just, just like just uh you, the, you, you, you just out there, man. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. But yeah. From from what I see, I see what you're saying. Now, yeah. if, I, if 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 I'm wrong, let me know. But yeah, yeah. Jason, drop down in the comments and call check out. But. No, but yeah, no. Nah, if you you think about it, because you had Kobe. Hmm. And Jordan. Yeah. And how how far else are we going to go back? Dwayne like, Wade was in contention, right? Yeah, he was. Derrick Rose. Let, let's say he a point guard. You think they did? they have him at point? Yeah, he I was guess a they point did. Guard, yeah. yeah, they yeah, did. Yeah, ma- matter of fact, uh, Chat dropped down um, the last, let's say since 1990, how many two guards were MVP? MVP, yeah. And I got the feeling it's just two. Damn. Get That's Kobe saying? and uh, Jordan. Jordan. Yeah, I think so. The most, yeah, but I could be wrong, but I, you know, that's what I think. So I know for a fact, Shea is not getting it unless his team is first place in the whole league by at least seven, eight games. Here's the thing, right? Yeah. This is where this uh, conversation gets dicey. Uh, Kevin Durant, I understand why he up there. Uh, Jason Tatum, he is playing his behind off this year. Thanks. Nikola Jokic, in my opinion, the beginning of the uh, the season, they was in hot water, but they did turn it around. I guess that's why he up there, but I don't think that he should be number one. Go ahead. There's a team that is still undefeated in this league. And ain't not one of them on there. Yeah. yeah. And it's only two people that's carrying that team like as far as like the point guard facilitating, but then that other person is the two guard. Yeah. So I guess that's the reason that they won't put him up there. But if Shea is up there, I feel like Donovan Mitchell should be up there too. And the point guard is uh, Darius Garland. Yeah. And both of them have hit. Well, Donovan Mitchell done hit about three or four big shots. He did. And Darius Garland has hit about two or three. He's underrated. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, uh, Draymond Green said, they said, who is the team with a player that you hate to go against? He said, I hate going against the Cavs because Darius Garland, man, he just he's so shifty. He's so fact. he he facilitates. It's like you you do not know what his next move is gonna be, and you gotta kind of plan as it go. That's a fact. But uh, either way it go, mm-hmm. them boys is undefeated, and and nobody on that team is in consideration for MVP. That's a fact. Crazy. Is the MVP ladder broken? And it was man seen- trap. I I, I I hold up now. Let me let me get to you. Hold on, let me get to you. It would seem that way because you would imagine that a person that is under on the undefeated team would get nominated, and then you would assume that Shea Gillius Alexander. They only lost one game this whole season. He would be higher than that. Now, I got a homeboy named Chuck. 
<laughs> he been saying this since I don't know how long. Because you said the criteria just don't ever match up. It does not. It does not match up. Go ahead. Get your shit off. So I feel like the MVP has been broken for the past 20 year, years or so. Mm-hmm. Shay got a better record than Joker. Mm-hmm. One on one, Shay would kill Joker. Mm-hmm. He's probably right now the the most dangerous one on one player in the whole in the league. league. In the league, I can. Yeah. How is he not number one? Okay. It don't make sense, man. That whole MVP and, and the crazy thing about it is broken in every single sport. It, oh, okay. in, in college football, Travis Hunter should hands down be the highest man. Oh, I heard somebody say it before. He is a stud. On offense, in mm-hmm. my eyes, the best wide receiver. And I'm not a Colorado fan. I never watched not one game. Yeah. I'm not a Travis Hunter fan. I can't tell you his jersey number. I can't tell you where he grew up at. I yeah. can't. I can't tell you nothing about him. Yeah. But he is, from what I hear people say, the greatest wide receiver in the in college. Yeah. And he also plays uh, either cornerback or safety, and he's a shutdown corner or safety. And he is in the Heisman race. Make that make sense, Trey. I can't, man. I can't. Make that make sense. <laughs> this, this whole mess is flawed. This whole yeah, mess is flawed. Yeah. It's, it's, you th- you th- let me ask you. Do you think it come down to marketing? You think that that's what it's all about for them? Because like you said, they want to uh, appeal to uh, other teams like overseas and all that stuff. Appeal to other uh audiences. let me, let me tell, you, tell you something Trav. my my son played basketball yeah right i know he <laughs> he's probably five right now he's probably five six mm-hmm. he's probably five six uh he let last year his teammate was a center his teammate was probably five nine mm-hmm. if you bet him a million dollars to walk in a straight line five feet he would fall over if you bet him a million dollars to make one free throw and he get a million attempts, yeah. he is going to fail all of them. Dang! If you bet that boy a million dollars to make one three shot and he get a million attempts, yeah. he would fail all of them. Come on, Chuck. He, he probably got 60 pounds on my uh, son. Not, not, now, granted, both of them starters. Yeah. The only reason he's on that court yeah. is because of Joker. Gotcha. I got a six year old yeah. that could beat that twelve year old one one on one. Get what I'm saying? So I yeah. I say that to say it's going back to they trying to make it they they trying to grow more overseas. Yeah. Yeah. They trying to make money. They trying to give people hope. Yeah. That boy is that boy is trash. Dang. That boy is trash. Who? The uh twelve the, okay yeah okay. I was about to say wait are you talking about Joker now or what? if you if you come to one of his games and he's there I bet you my whole paycheck I say trap after the game ask him to walk in the straight line twelve feet <laughs> if he don't fall over you can get the whole paycheck dang come on man that's a fact but yeah shout out to uh Joker oh uh, uh. but they should have NBA players picking those picks they yeah. got analysis yeah picking those picks uh, is it Analysts. though is it only them picking they got i feel I like some, some media that got yeah that, yeah, that, that, yeah that's what i'm saying yeah. no i'm talking like i feel like um shaq uh kenny uh I know, no, ernie no, no, no. you know what i'm saying people like that can probably make a right pick but people like that being in the actual uh locker room with the microphones in the face I don't think that they can make right picks. I wouldn't even give somebody like Ernie the opportunity to. But, uh, okay. All right. The fact that you said the opportunity to makes sense. But Ernie does know sports, though. He does, but. You still don't want to take that chance for something like this to happen? I feel like what they should do, right? They should have, let's say it is, and I'm going to just throw a number out there. Mm -hmm. Let's say we pick 20 past NBA players. Yeah. As, uh, I want to say thank you or an appreciation. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you on this MVP board. Yeah. You on this NBA finals board. Yeah. You you and y'all other 20, Mm y'all pick the finalists. Yeah, okay. And then I I think that. that, I'm with that. That makes sense. I think that it would go. A lot Definitely. more smoothly, right? Yeah. yeah. But there ain't no way, dog. And I ain't trying to hate on Joker. He got three MVPs. So who? Yeah. You, you got to put Joker. You have to put him up there 
LeBron, Kobe, Jordan, Magic, Kareem. Joker. Joker in no order. <laughs> yeah. You you would have to put him up there. Hey, yeah. With three MVPs. Kobe <laughs> got one. Can so can you man. mention Joker and Kobe in the same breath? No, no. You got to. Never. You got to now. <laughs> never. You got to. I tried it one time and I got jumped. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> now, so who who would your top three be for uh, MVP right now? Right this second. Even though we only 15 games in, who would your top three be for MVP? I would say I'm going to give you a top five and you can do whatever you want with it. All right. Shay. Mm-hmm. Jason. Mm-hmm. Jalen. Mm-hmm. Darius. Mm-hmm. Or Donovan Mitchell. Mm-hmm. Any five. I like it. Any five. I like it. And and I'll be happy with it. Okay. Okay. And I like KD too, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't going to get it. Gotcha. That's gotcha. all I got to say. All right. Bro. Well, yeah. Drop down in the comments. Let us know what y'all think, man. Uh, is the MVP race broken? It's broken. It's broken. It's crazy, man. That's it. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, well, I was expecting you to say, oh, hold up now. You didn't give us your uh, talk. But, but look, though, they got KD on there. His team is fifth in yeah. the West. Who from the, the Warriors or the Rockets is on there? But see, though, Nobody. that that, that what it goes back to because the MVP award is the player that contributes the most to the most winningest team. Mm-hmm. That's the definition of it. Yeah. Joker is six in the West. Yeah. How is he number one? Yeah. You're not the most winningest team. Exactly. So exactly. Like, What's the record right there? You have to redefine what? Seven and five. You know what I'm saying? If they lost one game, they would be five. Huh? Huh? It, 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 no. I think you have to redefine what that MVP thing means, dog. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I feel like Shaq said something similar to that, too. He did. Yeah. I'll tell you what. All right. We out.